It's a process I deeply love. It was quite challenging because Dune did inspire a lot of other movies in the past. The challenge was to try to bring something fresh to the screen and uh, to do so what we did is that we entirely focus on the, on the novel and the description that Frank Herbert did. And I tried more specifically to go back to uh, the image I had in my mind when I was a teen, when I read the novel the first time. It was a long process. The good news is that we had, we had a lot of time. I was not rushed. I, did, I wanted to have the time, the proper time to bring things uh, as precisely as possible in the concept art. So VFX crew will have everything more than the design bar, but even the, 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 the atmosphere, the look, the, the, the quality of the light, everything was precisely done in prep. Uh, I worked uh, at the beginning with my storyboard artist, Samu Deki, where we did tons of sketches, like for instance, the ornithopter, how would you approach a machine that is described in the book as a flying machine that has a wing like a bird flapping in the air. I uh, was dreaming to have that shape inspired by a dragonfly that would be muscular and, uh, and would feel realistic and close to the spirit of an helicopter. It was important for me that uh, all the vehicles will obey to the laws of nature, the gravity, physics, and that they will not look like fantasy vehicles, but more so something closer to science fiction, you know, that, 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 to science and all grounded in the, in the book. There's something very retro futuristic in the way that because the world is analog and it's a thing that I deeply love, the idea that we are dealing here with a science fiction world where there's no computers and where the only intelligence on board is the human brain. I mean, there's something that triumph of the human spirit is something that is at the very heart of Dune and, and we try to to keep that, that, uh, that reality in, into the design of the machines. The cockpit of the ornithopter I asked the, the, the crew to design something that uh, will uh, keep the, the, uh, the characters in contact with the environment, feeling that they are in a way in a bubble that uh, allows us to always be in visual contact with the landscape and, and feeling the, the impact of the landscape seen from above. So they were really like uh, aquariums where the characters were sitting in. And, and uh, we had several ornithopters that were built uh, full size. They were uh, meant to be uh, practical inside. The cockpit uh, were functional. We were able to open the doors of the cockpit. There was like that back door that was always mechanical. Other ornithopters were designed for on-stage shooting. There was one which was the bucket, which was like a, 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 an ornithopter that was more like a, a Lego piece, if you would like that we can remove pieces so to bring the camera inside and, and find a more interesting angles. But uh, the only problem we had with Anitopter is that because um, they, they were meant to, to receive a lot of people inside, they were extremely uh, heavy. Uh, I think if my memory is good, it's 11 tons. To bring those machines in the desert was a big challenge. We had to use an Antonov, uh, it's like, which is the biggest plane, a cargo plane uh, uh, available on Earth in order to bring those those ornithopter in Jordan and then uh, move them with the massive cranes into the desert to put them in a proper position. It was like a, a bit painful but uh, quite rewarding to see them in position in the desert. We actually made one fly uh, uh, with cranes. We, we had, There was a moment where Paul and Gurney are uh, watching uh, from above the, the, the worm engulfing the harvester. In order to have the proper light and the proper uh, dynamic of the shot, we had to put one of the ornithopter with stun guys. I don't know how many feet in the air, I don't recall exactly how far we were from the ground, but it was quite a technical challenge to bring that, uh, that machine uh, uh, with that weight and ma making spin uh, under sunlight to have the proper lighting on the characters. It was a really exciting shot to do, but very technically complex. There's something about the utilitarian quality of it that uh, I, I feel are, are quite appealing. There's something um, kind of uh, fresh and, and, and very dynamic in the way we brought them to the screen. For more Dune, why not check out our review of the film? And for everything else, stick with IGN.